So I am just gonna drop it like it's hot, like $1.49 hot, because these are really great prices for glue dots. As you can see, they're normally $5.99. They have some available that are the temporary removable dots. That's the one in the green packaging. And then they have what they call the versatile dots. That's the red one. So they had actually quite a few of the red ones, which I was super surprised to see because you know, they normally have like onesies, twosies. So this one was from 2018, I'm guessing based on the stamp. And then this one's 2020. So I have heard like, you know, sometimes they kind of like do these sales so that they can change out the packaging. And so this is, I guess, one of those really great examples. But aren't we all thankful for this new packaging? Just straight to the point, right? <laughs> so these are some of the things that you can use with the versatile dots. And I will say, a little secret, you guys, this I did not find in the paper crafting aisle. I actually found this in the gift wrap aisle. So you definitely wanna heed the directions when it tells you to put it at the 45 degree angle because if you don't, it's just gonna waste a whole bunch of them. But what I normally do is when I'm finished with this entire thing, I will open it back up and I will go over all the like leftover paper to make sure I don't have any extra ones that I can use. So I did test a few out. I have like this really thick foam bow, which I always personally have a hard time gluing foam. So this one does really well with foam. Um, and then there's also a little metal brad in there as well. So I guess it also does well with metal. And then I also put on the back of it, the little pom-poms, which again is also another thing that I always have a hard time sticking down. So yeah, it's definitely looking like an Easter theme. I feel like I should finish it up. Um, but these are the only things that I have like on my desk right now that look like it can go with this. So these are the only ones that I found that were doubles and I'm just going to make little bunny ears. Can you guys see it? Do you guys see the little bunny? I'm not sure, probably should have used different paper. But anyways, let's move on to the next item. You will see that I was using these little baggies and those are also really great price in the party area for 49 cents. And I had to pick this one up because you know, it's cute, it's pink and white stripes. And then I picked this one up because it had like totally Barbie vibes, right? In my mind, I was like, oh, you can do something super cute with this, dealing with Barbie. And so this is what I came up with. It's actually a really nice size because like on the bottom, that's about two and a quarter. So you're definitely gonna be able to fit things that are a lot more bulkier. Like take for example, the stationary pad, which I also picked up at Hobby Lobby. This was like in the area where they had like a hodgepodge of like 75% off discounts. But I picked this up around like after Christmas. And I will admit I purchased this one only because I saw the 32 cents, but I thought it was really cute when I took it home, kind of looked at it some more because you can actually put a whole bunch of little snacks in here. And I am all about snacking, you guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is really cute. And I thought that it was something that would have like adhesive and you just kind of build the base of it, but it's not, it's kind of like this and I guess you put your own scotch tape in it or maybe you just leave it as is because you are still supposed to get your bag. It's only coming with the base which is the bottom part of the box looking thing and then the ties. So it comes in silver and gold and I really didn't like it for that purpose that they had on the bag. So I went ahead and just used it as some gold cardstock. Um, I made some bows with it these are definitely something that you want to be careful with because it's kind of layered with a craft paper in the center and you don't want to pull the metallic part of it out. But it's really nice for like bows. It makes it look really sturdy and pretty. It's really pretty. I like it. Yeah, I finished up the bag on the Barbie bag and I added these to it. But yeah, definitely still worth 32 cents, especially for the bows. Like I can make a whole bunch of bows. For sure, at least 12 really good, decent sized bows because it does come with 12 pieces per pack. Then I backtracked to the wedding aisle to see if there was anything that I missed over there. And I did find these vellum accents. You're getting 50 pieces. They're four and a half by seven and a half. And they say that you can use this on any inkjet or laser printer. And I was gonna try it out, but I was thinking, you know what? I just invested in this new printer. What if this little piece of paper gets stuck in it? Like if it was an inkjet, I think it would be okay. Cause you know, if it gets jammed, I can kind of like tug the paper out of it. But if it gets stuck in my larger printer that I just purchased, 
I don't know what I would do. <laughs> I can't return it. It's been like almost a couple months. So I was a bit of a chicken to test it out. So, you know, hopefully I can do some other projects with it later. You are seeing more sacks from the party section. And there was a lot more in the baking aisle, which I wanted to do a separate video on. I did purchase quite a few things from that aisle. And even if you're still into paper crafting, continue watching that one because I will share with you guys how most of those things will probably end up in your craft room anyways. And you know the drill, if you like the vibe, don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell to notify you of all of my new and upcoming Hobby Lobby videos. Stay tuned, I thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all have a very wonderful day.